Hamtramck developed rapidly in the beginning of 20th century as thousands of European immigrants, especially Poles, were attracted by the automobile industry of Detroit. With the deindustrialization of Detroit, the city went under decline. The shutdown of Chrysler, Hamtramck assembly plant, in 1979 was one significant event that eliminated thousands of jobs. Many of the Europeans started moving out of the city and along went their businesses. The lowest point in the population was 18,000 in 1990. But the city is starting to flourish again thanks to immigrant entrepreneurship. It became a city where people could experiment with their businesses. Bengali, Arabic, Indian and Polish restaurants and other businesses were opened. Many of them have been successful and contributing greatly to the economy of Hemtramck. Agnes and Zygmunt Kolski immigrated to America and started their careers. In 1920, a sausage company called Kolski Sausages was built on Hallbrook Avenue in Hemtramck. The group received tax reduction from the city to keep it from moving production to other areas. So the company stayed and leadership was passed down from generation to generation. Hi, my name is Greg Kowalski, and I am the one of the directors of the Hamtramck Historical Museum. I was born in Hamtramck. I have lived here my whole life, 66 years, and it's the only place I'll live because I love living here. And uh, for the last oh, 20 years, I and a group of other people have been working to get the historical museum established in Hamtramck. So we um, we search out the history of Hamtramck, we present it here, we do programs here, and our mission is really to promote Hamtramck for everybody as we chronicle the history of this city. Uh, the generations have changed and a lot of the Polish businesses have closed. There's still mm -hmm. some remaining yeah. and there's still, Hamtramck still has kind of that reputation as a Polish community even though that has changed substantially over the years. Uh, and uh, there still are some of the Polish businesses around, like the mm -hmm. Polish Art Center, which right. is right next door to the museum. And that's an internationally known business. And there are Polish markets here, like Schrodex right. and Mozex, and non-business Polish places, mm -hmm. too. Uh, there okay. are a number of Bengali businesses opening in town. In fact, Conan Avenue is now uh, Bangladesh Avenue. It has right. a ceremonial title to it because so many of the um, Bangladeshi businesses have opened there over mm -hmm. the last basically 20 years. Yep. Uh, but there are specific ones like the um, uh, Kebab Palace Restaurant, which for many, many years most people would remember it as the uh, Scoopney Funeral Home. A long time, yeah, and I still, I've been there a number of times, and it's very odd when you go to a restaurant that used to be a funeral home because you remember where the caskets were. Good to see that it's continuing on. The, the building is a good building, and it's been transformed into a new So use. was it originally Polish, or? It was originally Polish, yeah. Oh, okay. and mainly it served Our Lady Queen of Apostles Church, which right. is right across the street, oh, which is a Polish Catholic church mm -hmm. as well, too. So. There's a lot of intertwining roots right. between the different ethnic groups in, in this kind of manner where something started as Polish, now it's Bengali. Right. Now, I can tell you 50, 60 years ago, nobody would have ever imagined mm -hmm. anything like that occurring. Having an empty building, we now have a going business. That's really, mm -hmm. really good. The Skupni Funeral Home in Conan Avenue was turned into a Bengali restaurant called Kebab House and Mochak Suites. The interior was remodeled and a small parking lot was added for incoming customers. According to Greg, the place has a completely new look and feel. The opening of restaurants like Kebab House shows that the city is going through changes.